In this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a plugin called the Awesome Flickr Gallery. Now, the Awesome Flickr Gallery uses photos from your Flickr site, and Flickr is a content delivery network for photos. And here it is over here. Once we go to Flickr, you can then upload all the photos that you have on your hard drive to Flickr. Now, why would you do that? Well, simple. If your website is residing on a shared host, that means if you haven't got a dedicated server, and if you have got a dedicated server, you know who you are. But if you've got a website, um, more than likely it will be on a shared host. A shared host is where a server has maybe 100 or maybe 200 websites on the same server. So your web host, what they do is they buy a server, a big server with lots of capacity, and then they um, put your website on that server with a whole bunch of other people. Now, what happens is, is usually you'll only get uh, maybe one or two gigabytes of space and bandwidth. And the bandwidth is the um, data that travels up and down the, the telephone lines or their, or their pipes or whatever you like to call them that go into the data center. Now, what happens is, is if you put photos in your WordPress installation, because WordPress allows you to upload photos and things to your site, two things happen. One is, is that you start filling up um, your hard drive space. Of course, if you're uploading bigger photos, your hard drive space is going to um, uh, be taken up more and more. So what do you do? Well, instead, you put your upload your photos to Flickr. Now, Flickr is owned by Yahoo. Yahoo have a ton of hard drive space, and the thing that makes Flickr so good is that when you put your photos on Flickr and then, then you um, in link them to your WordPress installation, the photos load very, very quickly, probably quicker than your web host can display them from your server. Now, the second thing that happens is is the bandwidth, as I mentioned. So that means every time that a user um, has a look at your page, so let's have a look at this page here. Every time a user um, brings in that uh, photo from your web server, it takes some, some uh, bandwidth allocation space. Now, remember, if a shared host um, has 200, may, let's say, make it easier, make it 100 sites on their web server. If they're having to throw out images all the time to all these different websites, what happens? Well, your page slows down. So that means that your web server has then got to process the image, throw it up to your web browser, and then the user user sees it. But, it, but if it's doing that for 100 websites, well, it, it's likely that your website might slow down. So what I do, I put all my photos on a content delivery network, or a CDN, and that's what Flickr is. So what I do, I upload all my photos to Flickr. Now, I've got 5,000 photos here. Cool thing about Flickr is that you can open a free account. You can upload about 200 photos and it's free. After that, it's $25 a year. Now, I've got 5,000 photos and I'll put them on various websites. For me, $25 is a really good investment to upload all my photos to Flickr. I don't need to keep them on my hard drive because I've got them on Flickr. I do anyway. I just back them up to an external hard drive. But for the purposes of throwing up really quick images on your website, Flickr really is the way to go. So what you do is upload everything um, to Flickr, and then what we then do is we then come back to our WordPress site, and then we link them from our Flickr installation. And it's a really easy thing to do, and I'm about to show you. If you're interested in learning how to open a Flickr account and manage a Flickr account, I've got another tutorial coming up soon that you can go and have a look at. But first, let's go and see how our uh, awesome... Flickr Gallery plugin can throw up your images quickly on your website really conveniently and manage them in such a way that you really don't have to do anything with them. Right, so first of all, we need to go and search for the plugin. So go add new, click on this button up here. So then we hit add new and then we go and search for um, awesome Flickr Gallery. So now if I go um, type in awesome, A-W-E-S-O-M-E, and search for the plugin, I'm sure that it will come up with an awesome uh, Flickr Gallery plugin somewhere pretty quickly. So there's awesome ads. Looks like there's a family of awesome um, products there, but we want the awesome Flickr Gallery. So what we would do is, is we'll go install now, because I've already installed that one. So uh, WordPress recognizes that it's already installed, so it, can, it will say update, but you want to install it. 
After you install it, you then need to deactivate it. There'll be a little icon there somewhere, or a little link where you deactiv uh, sorry, activate it. And once it's activated, what it does, there's a little um, menu that you can see in the left-hand side of your WordPress um, installation. So here it is here. Right, so once it's installed, there are a couple of tricky little techno nerdy things that need to be done. And I'll show you how to do those. So firstly, what we need to do is we click on the default settings. So when the default settings come up, it'll say here, your Flickr API key. API means Application Programming Interface. Now that's just for you, the little techno -y little nerdy things that, um, that you need to know. But basically it's saying, well, which Flickr account is yours? And of course your Flickr account is going to have a number. And there it is there, and that one's mine, and there's my Flickr ID number. Yeah. Now they're important numbers because what um, because there are millions of uh, user accounts on Flickr and it's really important that Flickr knows exactly where to look and what photo batch to get. So what you need to do, you need to log into your Flickr account and get your API key. Now here we go, we go to uh, use the menu that says you, you go to your account and then there will be four little tabs. What we need to do is go to the sharing and extending tab and then have a look for our API key. So here we go, I've got one API key, so there it is there. So I click on that API key, I then go and copy it. I don't need the secret bit, I just need that bit there. So then I'll copy and right click and go copy and then I come back here to our uh, back end of our WordPress installation and I copy my, paste my API key in there. Now that's important. Right, the next thing you need is your Flickr ID number. Now this is a little bit uh, tricky, so what you do is there's a link here that um, the awesome Flickr gallery puts in for you. Uh, so if you click on this link, it will then take you to a, a, a Flickr page which will uh, you can put in your username. And that is when you signed up for your Flickr, Flickr account, it'll be your username. So in my case, it's uh, Kiss the Bride. Kiss the, I want to do this Australia. And I go find, all right, and it will find my um, ID number, and there it is there. So I again, I highlight it, right click, and go copy. I can then close that one up because I don't need it anymore. Go back to my Flickr gallery, and then paste it in there. Now, once those two pieces of information, which are critical to get this uh, plugin to work, have been pasted in, you're ready to go. There's a couple of other settings which I'll just walk you through now. Um, you'll notice that on my page, I've got my Flickr photos um, set up in two columns. So there they are. There they are. There. So back over here, it'll say maximum photos per page is 10. Now I do that so that um, I don't have um, high page load times. Uh, 10 is a good number, but you can set it to whatever you want, really. But uh, I want my pages to load quickly. Now, bottom down the bottom of each page, um, it hasn't got it on this one, but it'll have a little page selector. We go page one, page two, page three, and so on, on pages where you've got lots of photos in that Flickr set. So I'll turn the titles off. Uh, Flickr will take the titles from the photo name. Now you know how sometimes when you take photos with your camera, it might have a funny name like dsc0854321.jpg. If you're going to leave that on, it will put those funny little names. So I turn that off because um, usually I don't rename my photos. But if you do rename your photos, you might want to turn that on. Your photo descriptions, they're the ones you put into Flickr. Turn those ones off because your pages will load a lot slower. But again, you can turn them on. It's really up to you. Number of columns, uh, that's where I've set my page up to have two. Uh, background colour, I like to have as transparent. It really depends on my page theme. Um, so there it is there. So I have transparent ones. And then you click Save Changes and then you're away. All right, so once we've got our secret squirrel codes in, we can then go and um, start adding some galleries to our website. So here we go. Let's add a gallery. I'm going to click on the Add Gallery um, link there, and then a new page will open up. So I'm just going to call this one, say, Tests and um, Test Description. I'm not worried about the typos. Now, here, Flickr is going to say to you, where do you want to get the group of photos? So, in Flickr, we organize our photos into sets. So here we go, and here are a bunch of sets that I've got in my Flickr account. Okay, so the last um, set was this one here called Fuzzy Hair. So what I'm going to do 
If, it, if you take it directly from the photo stream, that will take every single photo you've got in your Flickr account. And in my case, that's 5,000, way too many. No one's going to sit there and look at 5,000 photos. We're going to break it down into smaller clumps. So here we got here. I'm, I don't want the whole photo stream. I just want um, a photo set. So here we are here, and that's the first one that we saw here, that fussy hair one there. So um, there are four photos in that one. So I'm just going to choose that one. Uh, maximum photos per page, I'm just going to leave it as default, or I might want to choose, it's really up to you. Size of the photos, I'm just going to leave everything um, as default, because what happened uh, in my default settings over, over here, I set them up as two columns and all those sorts of things. So here we go, I'm now going to go click Add the Gallery. So uh, WordPress will do its thing, you can tell it's working because the little ball up there is, um, is spinning. So that means the gallery test is created successfully. Now the short code for it is this here. Now that's really, really important. And if you forget that one or move away from another page, I'm going to now going to show you where you can go into your saved galleries, which I've got a bunch of them saved in here. Now the, the test one is down here and there is the short code. Now it's imp this is really important. So I'm now going to copy that short code, which is just there, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go copy because what I'm going to do now is go back to my pages and I'm going to um, add a new page and I'm going to call this page test. So I'm going to type in test here. Now what I need to do now is paste in that short code um, there and what that tells WordPress to do is go and have a look at the um, AFG, which is the awesome Flickr gallery plugin. Go and find that set of photos and then paste it here onto this page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save that one as a draft and then I'm going to go and preview it and have a look. So here we go. Now our test, our page called test has been uh, saved as a draft. I want to preview that page to see what's happening. Now as the page loads, you know that the Flickr photos, which are in that set called Fussy Hair, have now come up and displayed on the page extremely quickly. You'll notice how quickly they loaded in. They'll load in a lot quicker um, from the content delivery network that is Flickr rather from your web server. And that is the whole concept behind using Flickr as your delivery network and organizer and so that your bandwidth from your server in throwing up the photo isn't used by your web host, it's used by Flickr. You find it, it's much con more convenient to do it this way. Uh, it's more economical for your web host, you and everyone to use Flickr and this little plugin called the awesome Flickr Gallery is fantastic and I use it all the time.